Hey guys, so last week I was on spring break on a vacation and got my phone wet. I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and it uh, went in the water for probably one to two minutes before I found it. And uh, it worked briefly. Um, when I say briefly, I mean like for 10 seconds and then it uh, would not take a charge and uh, if you know anything about the phones, they're pretty much sealed, they're hard to get into. So I really wasn't able to do anything except for kind of open up all the ports and let kind of air out and uh, still wouldn't work. So about four days later I'm finally back home and I finally again watch some YouTube videos, see how to take this thing apart and take a look at what we can do. And uh, so we took the battery out. We've got the front and back cases off and we stripped it all the way down to the motherboard and there's a video out there that shows you how to do that and sure enough you could see where uh, the connectors were starting to have some damage uh, from the moisture. This has still got a little bit here. Um, so what they recommended and what we're going to do is get out the old rubbing alcohol uh, 91% or higher. Uh, a lot of it out there was 50 and 70%. So we went and got the 91% and um, we dropped the motherboard in this dish and switched it around, put a lid on it because this stuff does evaporate. So we switched this around for probably 10-15 minutes and then we're just taking a soft toothbrush and we're basically just cleaning up the connectors. To try to get as much of the uh, minerals from the water deposits off of this as possible and to clean this up. And I also happen to have a magnifier that I've been using. And this probably isn't in focus, but I'm going through and cleaning up these connectors. And uh, this main one here was really bad. Uh, that's the main connector. That one was in very bad shape. And it looks like it's cleaned up substantially. Now it's a lot cleaner. So we're going to let this dry out and uh, we're going to go through and clean some of these other connectors. It's got the USB charging port here. Um, that one looks like it's got some corrosion on it. So again we're going to try to uh, brush this and get some of this cleaned up and then we're going to let this dry and of course with the um, alcohol it will evaporate and leave no residue behind. So if we give it enough time I'm hoping that it will completely repair this phone and I won't have to get a new one. So these notes are expensive. So we're going to continue to work on this and I'm going to report back to you on whether or not this worked or not. Luckily it did not break my case. The uh, front of the lens survived the ordeal. So we're just going to continue to uh, clean up especially the power connector parts. So that seems to have taken the majority of the abuse and the corrosion because when I applied electricity back to it you could hear it snapping and cracking and the electricity was um, obviously heating things up so if, uh, if I would have known I wouldn't have powered it up or attempted to power it up until I got home here and, and get, get this done to it but hopefully this will salvage my phone and save me eight hundred to a thousand dollars and having to go out and get a new eight or a new no you know the new 
Samsung Note 8 or they're just uh, coming out with the 9's but not the Notes so I'll come back we'll take a look and let you know what happens so I plug my phone in and this is all I get with the charging either with the USB or with the wireless comes on gives me the charging symbol but doesn't give me a percentile and it'll flash off and then come back on so I'm gonna order myself a new battery I think I saw them on ten dollars on Amazon replace the battery come back try this again see if I can get this phone to come back from uh, getting wet so the good thing is, is it turns on the display comes on but it's not taking a charge so the next step try the battery we got our new battery this is actually the old battery that I pulled out of the phone replace the battery easy to do you gotta take out all these little screws around the edges and remove this so replace the battery we're gonna turn this on and hopefully fingers crossed this thing is gonna turn on oh that's a good sign Galaxy Note 5 yep nice I think we're good okay the phone came up everything seems to be functioning the screens working buttons are working volume up and down is working So it's getting on the internet, starting to get uh, its updates. Oh, look, it's 80 degrees in uh, Punta Cana, although we're not in Punta Cana anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, so all I need to do is uh, wait for my new back to get in here to uh, replace that. And uh, that goes on with heat. You put that on and then heat it up. So I'm going to go a couple days with uh, my cover still off. Just going to put it in this solder box to protect it until that back plate comes in. So, pretty happy with the results. Um, cleaned it up, got a new battery. Life is good. Cost me about uh, $35 in all for the battery and the back case. So, good job. See you next time.